Hi guys, this is Anil back with another video tutorial for the learning lab on C programming. In this video tutorial, we're gonna see the fgetS function in C. So, this fgetS function is used to read some string from the file. So, let's see how we can use that. So, this is the syntax of this fgetS function. So, first the function name that is fgetS. Then we have to write the variable that is the you know character array where we want to save the data or the string which is created from the file then the length the length specifies the maximum number of characters this function can read from the file at one time then we have to pass the file pointer you know this is similar to other you know file functions available so this is the pointer to the file which is opened opened by using fopen function so now we're gonna see how we can use this in our program. So since we're dealing with the file, we have a file pointer here, pf. Then we opened anil.txt, which is the file we are working with in in the mode r for reading mode, and we saved the you know address written by this fopen function in the pointer pf. Then we checked whether our file was open successfully or not here. Then if our file wasn't open successfully then uh, we said okay unable to open the file so else if our file was opened successfully we're gonna use you know this fget as function so since we we need a variable or a character array to store the data received by this fget as function i'm gonna declare it it's gonna be char then let me call it data let me assign the size of uh, let's say 15 so now here we're gonna use our fgetS function first we want to read all the data present in the file that's why we are using a while loop to loop through you know, all the contents of the file then we are gonna use a function that is called f e o f that is file end of then we have to pass the parameter as the file pointer it's gonna be pf and we are using a no symbol here to make our while loop run you know until this file contains some data if you don't know about this feof function then go and watch my other video tutorial about this so this function just indicates whether our file is you know completely read it or not so now we're gonna use our f get s function it's gonna be f get s then first we have to specify where we want to store it's gonna be in the array data then the maximum length of characters that the function can read at one time so we want to say okay just you can read the maximum length of 15 characters so if you read more than 15 characters you know then our data array will be you know run out of space and you know the program is gonna write outside our data array so it may make our program to work differently but uh, when we're using you know f scanf function we were not specifying any size there size limit that's why you know uh, if your file contains you know some uh, string which is larger than the array size you specified in your program then uh, it may overwrite and uh, produce some uneven results so now the next thing is we have to pass the file pointer it's gonna be pf so now the string which is rated from the file is stored in this data array so we're gonna use printf statement and we're gonna say the the characters read it where then percentage s then we're gonna refer data so now save it compile it and run it so as you can see here we got the output i'm gonna open up my anil.txt also so now we can compile it so the character read it where hi anil so as you can see here our fget as function first read at this high then a space is there so this fget as function it considers a space also as part of a string so it just uh, you know uh, continued to read then it read it a n i l then it finds okay a new line is there okay so this is the end of the string so that's why it uh, read it high anil at one time and also this high anil has the length five six seven seven which is you know less than the maximum length we specified that is 15 so it just uh, read this high anil without any problems 
so it just printed here so next a blank line is there so it came here okay nothing is there then uh, a new line is there you know we are we have this learning line in a third line that that's why here a new line is there after that blank so that's why it said okay the characters rated were nothing so next it came to this learning lad rocks here it first read it learning then a space is there no problem i can read it it read it that also then it read it lad then a space no problem it read it that also now this uh, f get as function had read it from here to here then it just counts the characters 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 so it read it 14 characters which are less than the maximum length to be specified so this f get as function always reads the character which is one less than the maximum length specified so it readed learning lat r and it just printed here then at the next time it continued from this uh you know remaining part it readed o c k s then okay that's the end of the string so it just readed o c k s then you know that's the end of the file so our program terminated So this is it this is about the fgetters function in C so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next tutorial